Hi, my name is Sharon Gleason and I'm an Executive Area Manager and Independent Consultant with Arbon. If you're listening to this call today, it's because someone has told you about our 30 Days to Healthy Living program and you would like to know a little bit more information about the program, what it's based on, what it involves, so that you can make a decision as to whether it might be a fit for you and your health goals. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you for tuning into this call and I hope that you find some tips that you'll find useful as you um, make a decision as to whether this program is a fit for you. So just um, a couple of statistics that might surprise you. The number one killer worldwide is heart disease. So, you know, we focus a lot on cancer these days, but two out of three Australians are overweight or obese and the problem is getting worse. What's even more concerning is that there's a concern that our children's generation won't outlive their parents' generation due to childhood obesity and diabetes. So really important, I guess, for those of you who do have children, that we are thinking about the role model that we're setting for our children in terms of our eating habits. Because they say that those patterns that children um, develop in their childhood are the sorts of things that will carry them through their life. On average, we consume an outstanding one to one and a half kilos of sugar a week. Um, so they say that it is the silent killer. And the other really big thing is that, you know, you can't exercise your way out of a bad diet. So there are plenty of people who are at the gym trying to work out um, to achieve their health goals, but really by combining exercise and nutrition, they're going to get a much better result. Because really only 10% is based on our genetics. 10, some people say 20% is based on um, training and exercise, but 80% of how we look and our overall health and appearance is determined by our nutrition. So some of the common issues with our modern day diet, as a society, we are overfed and undernourished. So what we mean there is we're actually often eating lots of empty calories. So filling up on things, you know, that might be high in carbohydrates, but aren't really full of um, really good nutrients for our body. We are a busy society and 70% of our diet is now made up of processed and convenience foods. So you know what it's like, you go to the supermarket, everything's pre-marinated, everything's in a box with everything you need just to squeeze out the sauces and, um, you know, and that means that those things contain lots of preservatives, often lots of sodium, artificial colours, flavours and sweeteners. So we're wanting to really actually try and um, eliminate most of those from our diet where we can because those things actually are really um, damaging to our gut health. A lot of people have struggled with yo-yo dieting um, and focus on counting calories and carbohydrates and fats rather than looking at making sure that their body is getting um, the right nutrition. We also don't tend to detoxify, which is really important for our overall health. And increasingly, people are struggling with um, with gut health issues, things like celiac, Crohn's, irritable bowel syndrome, um, autoimmune deficiencies. And more and more people that we talk to are struggling with lack of energy. So this program is about addressing some of those common health issues by bringing it back to, to basics. So I guess at this point, I'd just get you to have a think about what are your health goals? What would your um, one thing that you would really love to achieve if you did decide to take on this program? Is it about looking and feeling great, having more energy? Is it about being able to reach and maintain that healthy body weight that you've been trying to get to for a while? Is it you just want to um, remove toxins so that your body is as healthy as it can be? Is it improving sleep quality? Is it reducing um, toxic load or increasing energy. So have a think about what that health goal is and keep that in mind as we move through the presentation. So um, doctors use our body as the analogy of a bathtub. So we want to have a look and see whether toxicity could actually be affecting your body because a lot of the um, issues with our health stem back to toxicity and inflammation. So if you think of your body as a bathtub with all toxins coming into our body, if we've got toxins coming into our body at a faster rate than it can eliminate them, eventually um, those toxins will build up, build up in our body and spill over and that actually can affect um, our body's system in lots of different ways. So toxins come into our body not just through the foods that we eat, through things like artificial colours and flavours and so on. It also comes in through the environment, things like pollution, smog. It can be... Um, uh, if you're involved in farming, it can be from um, chemicals, from cleaning agents. All of those things create um, toxins which um, enter our body. The other really big thing that a lot of people don't realise is that 60% of what we put onto our skin is actually absorbed into your bloodstream and your internal organs. And a research study has shown that 
um, the average person has over 200 synthetic chemicals stored in their body at all times. So there's lots of petroleum byproducts, um, lots of other toxic ingredients in our skincare products. And those things are absorbed into our bloodstream um, within 26 seconds. So um, that, that's another way that toxins are coming into our bloodstream. So how do we clear our drains? How do we actually get rid of those toxins? So the body's avenues for elimination include our lungs through breath, our gastrointestinal tract through faeces, our liver through our blood, our kidneys through urine, and our skin through sweat. So if we're not actually getting rid of those toxins fast enough, they can actually affect our bodies in lots of different ways. So it could be from something as, um, as minor as, you know, sort of just a, a, a mild persistent headache, um, you know, perhaps a bit of memory loss, and then obviously increasing to, you know, quite severe headaches or migraines, depression or feeling moody a lot of the time. It can be tiredness, exhaustion, lethargy. It can result in lots of gut health issues, things like diarrhea, constipation, um, reflux, heartburn, bloating um, and things like celiac, irritable bowel, Crohn's disease, autoimmune um, deficiencies, um, or auto, autoimmune disorders, I'm sorry. And it can also affect things like your sinuses. So um, people who get repeat sinusitis have problems with um, breathing, with asthma. It can result in um, inflammation in your body, which um, can cause muscle and joint pain and arthritis. It can affect your sleep. It can also affect um, your metabolism and hormone balance, particularly um, as we get older and women, once you've had children, it can also, um, it can really throw out your metabolism and hormones and those things can really get out of balance. And the other thing um, is that it can actually cause issues with your skin. So things like rashes, dermatitis, eczema, psoriasis and acne can also be a result of toxicity in your bloodstream. So have a little bit of a look there and see whether there are any things there that stand out to you that perhaps could be an indicator that toxicity is affecting your body. So I want to let you in on a little secret as to why diets don't work and why people struggle with yo-yo dieting and it does come back to those toxins. So our bodies need to protect our major organs from those toxins that are in our bloodstream. So what they do is the body wraps those toxins up in fat, which is called adipose tissue, to protect our major organs from the damage that, that those toxins can do to our major organs. So what happens, as you can see from this diagram here is, um, you know, if someone's struggling with their weight, decides to go on a diet, what happens is they lose weight, the fat cells open up and they release all those toxins into the bloodstream. So you actually end up with an increase in toxic density in the body. So what happens is our body is really smart, knows it needs to protect the major organs, so it puts on more of that adipose tissue, which is like bubble wrap for toxins, wraps it all up and stores those toxins. And where those toxins are stored is um, around our tummies, uh, the back of the thighs, um, backs of the arms, and it actually also can be um, you know, in our backs as well. So. Um, Toxins are stored in fat. So what we want to, um, so what happens is we end up in this cycle of yo-yo dieting because we can never get rid of those toxins from our bloodstream. So our body continues to put on more fat to store those toxins. This program is about cellular cleansing. So it's about actually making sure that we've got um, products incorporated that are actually going to go through, pick up all those toxins and heavy metals and actually remove them from our bloodstream and also cleanse our elimination organs. Because what happens is that when um, our body isn't coping with that toxic overload, it can actually cope with small amounts of toxins and it can help our body to reach and maintain a healthy body weight. So this program um, addresses five key areas. The first one is making sure that we've got a really healthy gut environment because our gut is absolutely crucial to our health. They say our gut is our second brain and it can either be your river of life or your river of death. We have more bacteria in our gut than we've got cells in our whole body, which is why it's so important that our gut health is right. Our gut regulates our metabolism, so it actually helps you to um, manage and maintain a healthy weight. 85% of our immune system stems from our gut. So if you're struggling with repeat infections, it could be because your gut health is, um, is out. And 75% of the serotonin, which is the hormone that's actually responsible for our mood and our mental health, is actually um, formulated in our gut. 
So people often will come to me sort of two weeks into the program when I ask them how they're feeling, they'll often say, this is going to sound really weird, but I'm actually feeling, I feel happier. But it's not weird at all because when we get that gut bacteria balance right, it actually helps to increase that serotonin production to make sure that people are, um, you know, feeling happier and that their mental health is, in, is better. And also um, dysregulated gut bacteria is, is um, linked to lots of those um, gut health issues which we talked about earlier. The second thing is about eating clean. So what we want to do is eliminate acidic, allergenic and addictive foods. Things like um, foods that have got refined sugar in them, that sugar is there to get us to crave that, to um, create that addiction that wants us to, to keep wanting that food and keep buying it. We're going to actually cut out those foods that have got those sugars and those addictive elements so that we can actually um, reduce those cravings and be changing our daily habits. We're going to cut out processed foods. We're going to ideally cut out coffee and alcohol. Now, I know that that can often be an issue for some people. Um, I know when I first heard this, that you know was something for me. I, I mean, I don't drink all the time, but I do enjoy a glass of wine on the weekend. I did enjoy my coffee. But um, talk to your consultant about any of those sort of issues. I mean, obviously with anything, you know, this is only for 30 days. Anything that you do, if you do it 100%, then you're going to get 100% of the result. But, you know, this is about progress, not perfection. So we would rather that if it meant that you, you know, needed to cut down rather than cut out some of these things in order to make some changes, we can absolutely work with you. This is not a one-size-fits-all program. This is about finding something that will work for you to help you to be able to maintain changes, sorry, to make changes that you can actually maintain and sustain as part of a, a healthy lifestyle. But ideally, we do cut out coffee and alcohol because those foods are highly acidic, which I'll talk to you about in a moment. We cut out our high fructose corn syrups, our vegetable oils and gluten and dairy, which I'll come to shortly. So really what we're wanting to do is go back to foods that are clean, that are free of pesticides and hormones and antibiotics, that don't contain all those trans fats and cholesterols um, and the artificial colours, flavours and sweeteners. And our whole program is designed around um, helping you to understand which foods to purchase, how to cook better, how to shop better, to actually be eating um, clean, nutritious meals. So why do we avoid gluten? So over the last 100 years, the protein strain um, that's in gluten has changed and our bodies haven't been able to adapt to be able to process that. We haven't quite caught up. And if you think about it, when you mix flour and water, it actually makes glue. So that glue acts on like a glue on the intestinal wall and it actually stops the little villi that are in our small intestine that are really there to actually um, grab hold of the nutrients and transport them into our bloodstream. So what happens is in our body's search to try and get those nutrients, the little pockets that hold those villi actually get bigger to allow the nutrients to get into the bloodstream. But what actually happens is that a lot of unbroken down proteins and toxins that should be being digested through our body end up actually going through those pockets and floating around in our bloodstream where we don't want them to be. So if you ever hear about the term leaky gut, um, that's what that is. It's about unbroken down proteins floating around in our bloodstream that shouldn't be there and they can actually contribute to toxicity in our body. So what we want to do is actually get rid of that um, glutinous sludge that's sitting in our gut and they said that people have between 400 to 4 kilos of this sitting in their small intestine and that can result in inflammation and can actually worsen conditions like arthritis, sinus problems or joint pain um, and it can also affect our immune system. So we want to give our gut a really good clean out and so by avoiding gluten for that 30 days it just enables us to get our gut health right. And there are great alternatives to gluten and we'll help you to understand what they are so that you, if you're worried about feeling full because gluten helps you to do that, we've got really fantastic um, alternatives that will help you to do that. Why do we avoid dairy? So um, this is a little bit of a, um, a complicated issue. So we're not really designed to drink another mammal's milk. So if you think about it, baby cows drink their mother's milk, but um, adult cows actually eat grass and you know with cows they often pump them full of you know hormones and antibiotics and things um, to try and plump them up to be nice big fat cows to produce lots of milk but all of those things that they use also actually then end up in our bloodstream. Um, dairy is, is also um, a slightly acidic food 
um, which again I'll talk to in a moment when we talk about acid and alkaline, but it does actually result in inflammation or contribute to inflammation and um, can contribute to things like acne, skin disease um, and um, other inflammatory conditions such as sinus problems and so on. You know, if you ever go to the doctor and you've got a cold, they'll often tell you to cut out dairy. That's why it can actually contribute to inflammation in the body. So a lot of people at this point get concerned about calcium and where they're going to get their calcium from. But there are lots of other great sources of calcium than just milk. So things like kale, spinach, your really dense green vegetables have got lots of calcium and also nuts. And again, we incorporate all of these things into the program to actually help make sure that you are getting all of the nutrients um, and vitamins that you need. The third thing is that we're going to actually focus on increasing our nutrient intake. So we do that in two ways. One of those is back, going back to basics and looking at how we're filling our plate. So making sure that we are filling our plate with nutrient rich um, plant based foods and half of our plate being filled like that. A quarter of our, pro, uh, our plate with lean protein and then one eighth with healthy fats and the other eighth with carbohydrates. And I know sometimes, you know, we can um, end up cooking meals that a quick and easy that maybe the whole family will eat and maybe it's you know 50 percent carbohydrates and you know 50 percent protein if you're having things like spaghetti bolognese so we're going to go back to basics and make sure that we are really filling our plate in a way that's going to give us the nutrients that our body needs the second way is by actually supplementing with the greens balance and the reason for that is that the world health organization say that we need to be eating somewhere depending on our body size somewhere between seven to twelve cups of fruit and vegetables a day, which is a lot of fruit and veggies to be eating. And because our soils now are more nutrient deficient, you know, we ripen foods quickly, they sit in cold storage for a long time, we're not really getting the same nutrients from our foods that we would have years ago. So there's an example there. In 1966, 100 grams of beans would have given us 56 grams of calcium. That same serving of beans now give us 37 grams of calcium. And that's why so many people now are looking to actually supplement with greens and um, other nutrients because we just know that we're not getting what we need, even if we are eating a really healthy diet. The fourth thing, fourth thing is that the program is, is focused on balancing our blood sugar and our blood pH. So... Um, just having a look at this little um, acid alkaline scale here, just a really quick um, lesson on how that all works. Our, for our body to function effectively, our blood pH needs to be at seven, which is neutral. We want our body to be slightly alkaline because a lot of diseases and cancers can't live in an alkaline environment. So re research on um, cancer patient shows that um, their bodies are often highly acidic. So if we can have a more um, alkaline environment, then it may minimise our risk of getting um, certain diseases and cancer. So a lot of the foods that we cut out from this program are on the acidic side of this spectrum. And it's important to understand here, it's not actually about the acidity of the food that we're eating, it's about the effect that the food has on our body. So for example, a lemon or something like apple cider vinegar is actually quite acidic, but it actually has an alkalizing effect on our body. Things like um, coffee, alcohol, um, your refined sugars, um, artificial colors, flavors, sweeteners, all of those things are on the highly acidic end of this spectrum. And there's example here, Coke has an acidity of um, 2.5. So every time we eat a food that has an acidic effect on our body, our body has to try and work to find the vitamins and minerals it needs to balance out that acid and bring the pH back to neutral. So just to give you an example of when we were talking about dairy, dairy, even though you wouldn't think it to have it, is actually slightly acidic. So it, might, it sort of sits around this end of the um, acidity spectrum. So you have a glass of milk, thinking you're doing the right thing and getting your calcium. What happens is because it's slightly acidic, your body has to actually balance out the acidity created by that milk. And oddly enough, what actually balances out the acidity created from milk is calcium. So your body is actually looking for calcium and actually takes it from its major bones, oh sorry, major organs and bones to actually balance out the acidity that's created by milk. So what we're doing, we take all of the guesswork out of, of this for you. The whole program is based on eliminating the foods that are on the acidic end of the spectrum, replacing them with foods that are on the alkaline end so that we can start to move your body towards a more alkaline state.
The other thing that the program does is it's all designed to balance out your blood sugar. So if you have that three o'clock craving, you know, in the afternoon where you feel like you really need that hit to get you through the rest of the day, um, or you find that, you know, you're often getting headaches, you've got mood swings, um, and you're reaching for some sugar, you have that high, then you get the crash. This program is all about balancing out that blood sugar so that it will stop you getting those cravings and, and those um, pick-me-ups that you're looking for in the afternoon. And the fifth thing is exercise, mindfulness and sleep. So we do encourage exercise as part of um, this program because exercise is really important um, part of cleansing. It helps our metabolism. It helps us to um, remove remove waste and it also increases our energy it gets those good endorphins going and helps us feeling really good it's also important for detoxification also it's really important to make sure that when you start on any sort of a change that our mindset is actually supporting the change that we're after so so often we start something you know we get to the first hurdle and you know our thought patterns start to actually you know tell us we can't succeed you know we're never going to get to where we want to go and we actually sabotage um, our chances of success. So we're actually going to make sure that through um, the, the um, accountability group that we run with this program, there's lots of encouragement, lots of inspiration to make sure that you are actually getting yourself in the right mindset to actually succeed at the change that you're wanting to embark on in terms of improving your own health. And sleep is also really important as well. So I really encourage you to make sure that you're getting the right amount of sleep, again, to make sure that you can ma maximise the effectiveness of the program. So the 30 Days to Healthy Living program and beyond is not a rapid weight loss program. It's not um, a liquid only diet um, detox program and it's not one size fits all. Whoever introduced you to this program will talk to you about what it is that you're wanting to achieve and help you to tailor the program so that it will suit you and what you're wanting to achieve with your health. It will help you to reveal foods that might be sabotaging your health um, when we start to reintroduce those foods. It'll help your body to more effectively remove toxins so that you can reach and maintain a healthy body weight. And just, you know, your body can cope with small amounts of toxins once it's not car carrying around that toxic overload. It's going to get your metabolism working well. It's going to help reduce food cravings, and it's going to help you to, um, to create new and daily habits that you can sustain well beyond this 30 days to healthy living jumpstart. So the, pro the products that we use as part of the program are from Arbonne. Arbonne has been around for 38 years. In April, Arbonne was recognised by the Direct Selling Association as the number one brand globally for healthy living inside and out. So our products are all about pure, safe and beneficial products that are all from whole food. They're vegan certified, they're not formulated with gluten, there's no dairy, no soy, no whey, no high um, fructose corn syrup, no cholesterol or trans fat, basically nothing artificial. So they're all formulated with the latest um, premium technology and ingredients that are based on whole foods that are going to give you the nutrition that your body needs every day to achieve all of the things that we've talked about um, that the program's aimed to achieve. So I'll just tell you quickly about the products that we use um, as part of a healthy whole food diet. So the first one is a protein shake. And the reason that we, um, we have a shake is a couple of things. One is it actually helps to reduce um, the strain on our gut from um, digesting food. So it's really designed to give your gut a rest so that rather than having to work to process all the foods, it can actually start to repair the damage that, that's been done to the gut lining, which I talked about earlier, and also to make sure that we're getting all that gut bacteria balance right. The shake is really easily absorbable, form of protein, and that's a vegan source of protein, and it comes from peas, brown rice, and cranberry. Um, the shake comes in chocolate and vanilla, and it's got 20 um, essential vitamins and minerals, one of these will give you 38% of your iron requirements for the day. So if you are struggling with your iron, two shakes a day is going to give you a huge amount of your iron intake. Um, and for people who work out, it does have a um, com complete amino acid profile, which means it's really good for muscle repair and recovery. Um, it's also alkalizing. And the other thing is, you know, as I said earlier, we do live in a convenient society. People are looking for quick and easy options. So a lot of people I talk to don't have breakfast. They might grab a couple of bits of toast or breakfast might be a coffee. You know, realistically, whilst this might seem a little bit lazy, it is actually a, 
good way to address all of those convenience issues but give you something that's quick and easy and going to give you a really um, good hit of nutrients for the day. The second one is a greens balance, which is going to give you 37 fruits and vegetables, um, which are highly alkalizing and very easily absorbable. So these are really good, again, for helping to support your gastrointestinal health. Um, they're alkalizing and um, very, very easily absorbed. So I pop that into my shake and that's going to give me 37 fruits and veggies in one hit. The third product is the Daily Fibre Boost. That's going to give you half of your recommended daily intake of fibre. And what this fibre does, it's a special type of fibre that's designed to go through um, and pick up all those toxins and heavy metals and actually eliminate them from your bloodstream. So it's the key and it's a key point of difference from our program to other programs that you might have heard like this. It also helps to balance your blood sugar and cholesterol and it actually helps you to feel full longer. So this can actually be um, added to water or you can pop it into your shake. So three of these products can actually be um, um, put into that one um, shake first thing in the morning to actually give you three of those um, products in one hit. The seven day body cleanse we introduced two weeks into the program. So again, this is actually going to go through and help with supporting that gastrointestinal health. It actually assists with elimination of um, toxins and really is focused on getting that gut health right. So we have that every day for seven days. Um, and again, that's just mixed with water and it really helps to prepare your body um, to maintain a healthy body weight. Our energy fist sticks are our alternatives to coffee, energy drinks, or any of those other sorts of um, pick-me-ups that people are looking for. These are fantastic for um, helping with mood. Um, they give you a lovely gentle lift without the, the lift and the crash that you would have from coffee. Um, so these have got lots of great um, green tea extract. They've got B vitamins. They've got ginseng and guarana. And they also contain riboflavin, which helps you use your own sources of um, carbohydrates, fats, and protein to give you energy. Um, so these are great either mixed with water or you can actually add them to your herbal tea, which is the next product. So again, this is aimed at helping with detoxification. This is a beautiful um, mild caffeine-free tea that actually helps support detoxification. Um, you can have it hot or cold and it's got um, peppermint, licorice, dandelion root, all which is great for soothing the gut and helping with that detoxification process. So how it works, we replace one to two meals a day with a nutrient-rich smoothie with our fibre and our greens. We have one to two um, detox teas and fist sticks a day and we have healthy snacks and clean, healthy meals. So we actually will give you guidance around those meals. Um, we can give you, we've got four, four weeks of vegan recipes, four weeks of um, just clean eating recipes if you do like to have your fish and um, meat and chicken and so on. And you can use those recipes or we can give you tips and guidelines as to how you can actually adjust your own recipes to um, suit the requirements of the program. So how we run the group is through a closed Facebook group. Um, if you don't have Facebook, we can email you the information each day. That's absolutely no problem. And every day there's a daily post that's going to give you education, guidelines for making healthier food choices, recipes, articles, tips for healthier cooking. And it's going to give you a community of people who are all on the same journey. It has that accountability, lots of motivation to really help you and support you through the program. So I just want to quickly show you some results of what's achievable within 30 days. So this is beautiful friend Sam and what she was able to achieve. So it just shows you how the program actually helps to remove that toxic fat that's stored that we talked about earlier. Um, this is beautiful um, Judy. This program actually really helped her with her migraines, helped improve her gut health. Um, she's sleeping better. And what I really loved about Judy's testimonial is it's really improved her eating habits. So she said that, um, you know, for her whole family, they're eating better and they have, their eating habits have improved. Just a couple more visuals there for those who like the visuals. Um, Naomi here, just, I mean, Naomi was already eating really healthy, but she picked up some great eating habits that helped her with her family. Um, she just was feeling a bit bloated, just had three kilos that she wanted to shift. And again, it's just really helped her to achieve those goals. And the big thing that she noticed was it really helped with her mood um, and her overall sense of well-being. Matt um, is a gym owner. He's an ex-rugby player, so he's PT. Um, he struggled with a lot of rugby injuries. Two weeks into the program, he came to me and said, 
could this be helping with my um, joint, my shoulder pain, my knee pain? Because it's really actually helping that. So it's really helped him to improve um, inflammation and joint pain. He's just got a lot more energy and, again, made sustainable changes to his diet and also lost five kilos. Um, Darren, again, increased energy, sleeping better, lost weight, but also um, a lot of measurement loss. So what we often find is people will lose more in measurements than weight loss because of the result of getting rid of those toxins that are held um, in that body fat. Um, beautiful Alison here struggled with a couple of autoimmune diseases and ulcerative colitis. Um, she's taken a longer term to actually get her health to where it needs, but she's actually been able to reduce significantly the need for medication, which any time that we can reduce uh, medication um, is fantastic because that's a synthetic chemical that we're putting into our body. Chelsea um, struggled with irritable bowel syndrome um, and reflux and again was taking a lot of medication for those things. She's now been able to get off that medication for her irritable bowel and reflux. So again, amazing results that are helping with health, not just weight loss. Again, this um, shows a measured decrease in um, percentage of body fat. Great program for guys too, so you can see the results there. And this one I really love. So Robert's been able to get um, fantastic um, changes in his joint pain um, from arthritis. He's actually been able to reduce his blood pressure and cholesterol. Now, we'd never recommend doing this without your doctor's advice, but he's actually been able to get off his medication for blood pressure and cholesterol. So the health benefits of this program are absolutely incredible. Um, again, more before and afters. But I guess I'll just finish by saying... You know, your health is your greatest wealth. If there's anything that I've talked about that resonates with you, that makes you think you'd really love to get your health back on track, whether you already feel like you're healthy and you'd love to take it to another level or you've got some more significant health goals, please have a talk to the person that um, introduced you to this program. Everything starts with a decision. We're here to help you. And if you would um, like to know more, talk to your consultant. We'd love to support you through this program. And I just would love to say thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this call. I hope that there's something that you can take away. And if you'd love to um, jump on board the next program, we'd love to support you through. So thank you and take care.